All right, we're back again with Shroud of the Avatar. I am going to um, do some crafting today uh, on the blacksmith. So, go through the basically go through the uh, the blacksmith. Some basic blacksmith crap. All right, so we go to the bank. I have everything in the bank. And let's see what we need. I just have to kind of go through my recipes, components, what do I need? Um, I'm going to make some rings, so I believe rings requires, oh, it's well expensive some things. So coil, I, I believe rings require coils, and that is under blacksmith rings, yeah. So we're going to need a yeah, coil of metal wire, okay. Actually, you know what, <laughs> instead of worrying about that, Here's what we're going to do. Ingots. Save some bronze, some copper. We're not going to do gold. We don't need ingot. Iron ingots. Um, take an extra smithing hammer. So we're mostly going to make copper, iron, and copper and iron with maybe some bronze stuff. All right, so we've got those. Uh, gold and silver are used for enchanting and uh, masterworking, which would be a whole other video, so we don't need that. But, uh, uh, let's see, so iron bindings, no. Iron ingots, no. Or uh, meteoric iron ingots, no. All right. What else we're going to need? We're going to need, uh... oops, just dropped the speaker. Chunks of coal. All right, and then... Um... Molds, we're gonna definitely need uh, a long sword mold, uh, ingot mold, wire mold. Actually, I don't know if we need wire. I'm gonna bring it anyway. Um, Alright, so this will get us some basic weapons. Now let's look at components here. All right, so hilts are basically coal and material. All right, um, sheets are a sheet mold, just in case. Did I get that? Sheet mold. All right. Oh, then um, I'll scroll through here. I figure I might as well bring it, but huh. let me. Can't remember what. Oh. So we bring copper hilts. Uh, I think I have some iron hilts too. Yeah, iron hilts. They'll save me a little bit of materials. All right, and then um, so for bindings, I just need hammer, coal, and it got okay. Uh, now blades, um, monster mold, and guys, strong coal. So we're good. All right, so that's mostly what we're gonna make. Um, Ring, metal bindings. Um, uh, what are bindings? There we go. Oh, past it. Bindings are simply basic stuff. Okay, so we're pretty good there. Uh, armor. Should we make any armor? I don't know. We might make like a four metal sheets. That's a lot. We might or might not make armor. I think we'll just stick with some weapons today and some rings and some necklaces. I believe I have everything I need. Coals 45. I got the ingots. Um, I got the molds. Alright, so. It's up to it. Oh, those sounds annoying. Unfortunately, you can't turn all of them off for some reason. And we're gonna go here because this guy has a um, founder expert, and I assume this gives me a bonus. But sometimes you see the bonus that actually says plus five, sometimes you don't. Um, and honestly, I've tested this and I've tested the public ones, and I, I haven't noticed a difference at all. But it, hopefully, it's there and it's just hidden. But you never know. Um, all right, let's. Start crafting. So, um, inventory. 
Let's see what we got here. So we already have two hilts of copper and iron. So to make swords, we're gonna need blades. So let's go. Uh, let's just we're gonna keep it straight up. Copper hilt, copper blade. Iron hilt, iron blade. We could mix them and have an iron hilt and a copper blade, because um, e each type has its its own bonuses. Um, so the hilt, as an example, um, how. The, the ingots you use for the hilt will determine some of the stats. Same thing with the blade. Um, you can mix and match the components, so hilt and blade. Um, but you cannot mix and match, you know, some ions, you know, you're making a hilt. Let's find the hilt. It has to be copper. I can't go one copper, one ingot, and make some copper, or one copper, one iron, and make some copper iron hilt. You can't do that. So it has to be one or the other. All right. Um, so we're just go copper, one blade. But we could mix it. I could have, like, yeah. Copper hilt, iron long blade. So we just need two of these. So once you have the materials here, and you can get the um, the molds and the coal from the crafting vendor, or the blacksmith vendor probably has the, the mold too. All right. So we're gonna make two because we have two blades. And it really is simple. Oh, you know, I, uh, actually, I don't think it matters when you're making components. If, if you make multiples at the same time. I don't think it does. But when you're making the final product, you definitely want to make them individually. So we'll test that again. Let's go to iron, longsword blade. Yeah, so there's no difference here. So make two of those. Craft. So this is basically how you know how crafting works. It's pretty simple. Um, you, you refine the items, then you take those refining things, you build components like hilts and blades, and then we put it together. So there, now we have, you can see, two iron hilts, two iron longsword blades, um, the same, two copper longsword blades and two copper hilts. Now to make the final item, it's a longsword, so it chooses a generic recipe, longsword. As you can see, it says metal, which means any metal. So we're gonna click that, double click, and it automatically put copper and copper, which is fine, we're not gonna mix anything. Um, and put it in there. So we're just going to go straight up copper. Now if you do them individually, you have a chance of an exceptional chance, which gives you a plus 50 durability. If you build more than one, you can't, you, you don't get the, uh, the the extra bonus. So it's always better to build uh, the exceptional chance. Well, I wouldn't say no, always, but yeah, for 99% of the time it's better. So if we're lucky, we'll get plus ones out of this. Um, again, these are less to be used and more for me to enchant masterwork later to build up my skills in those. Okay, build again. Another copper craft. And 95% is the highest you can get for success chance. Alright, scroll. Uh, let's build the copper. Oh, wait, why did I do that? For some reason I was thinking. Here I am telling you. There we go. Longsword, and now it'll bring the iron ones up. Now swords are built from the blacksmith, but uh, things like maces, um, the completed thing, the completed mace, the completed um, axe heads, maces, hammer heads, those, the oops, I got an exceptional. The completed ones are uh, are built by the carpentry, so. But the, the axe head would be built from blacksmith. As you can see, this so I just saw it up here. Blacksmithing station plus five proficiency. Plus five proficiency is, for the most part, probably not even noticed. The very beginning, it might be helpful, but like the higher you go, the more it doesn't even matter. So, assuming when we look at this, um, it's just a blacksmith proficiency bonus. This bonus right here, I'm already level 69. Um, you know, 20 levels if you look 58 to 66 is, isn't much. So, five extra levels isn't, isn't really making a huge difference there. The lower you are, the bigger the difference. But yeah. Alright. So, what else can we make? I'm thinking we'll just make a bunch of long swords. Oh, we want to make some necklaces. So, let's make some metal bindings. We want iron bindings. And that's pretty cheap. One iron in God. And one coal, but what does it take? So necklace is five each. So that means we want to make at least ten. Ugh, that is kind of expensive for, for a necklace. 
Let's make 15. That'll give us five necklaces. So actually, don't you make two at once? <laughs> I might, might be like overkill here. Yeah, you make two at once. Oh well, let's have a bunch of necklaces. Nothing wrong with that. Everyone wants necklaces. So while we wait for this, um, what should we make next? Thinking. Ring. Let's look at the ring recipe real fast. It's really hard to see through all this. So a ring is going to be five coils of metal wire. Coils are made through refining station, the smithing station. So we'll have to go there and make sure. But it's only uh, metal wire, so I'll probably make a bunch of... But we'll see how much materials we got left after this. Um, what else could we make that could be interesting? Ground shield. Triangle shield. Uh, to make repair kits, I really don't think repair kits are worth it. Uh, three ingots to, to to repair your stuff once. I mean, yeah, Vincon has a rough value of forty. Or if, if a single ore has a rough value of forty, then you're t you're you're talking eighty to a hundred and sixty per ingot. If you were to sell the ore straight up, not to mention the leather cost, so I mean it costs more to make repair kits than it does to buy the ore, or you know, yeah, than just to, to buy, not to buy the ore, but it costs more to, you know, you could sell the the ore and the leather and, and buy repair kits, so there's really no point in doing it. Just spend the hundred and buy them from the, the vendor. Unless, of course, you get like more than one. I don't know about that, but I haven't bothered to waste the ingots on it. Alright, so now we're 15 to 15. I don't know if we failed any. But. Oh, we actually have. So we have 25, so we can make five necklaces. Or six necklaces, looks like. Okay, let's go over to Smithing Station real quick. Let's make um, some, some rings. Okay, what do we got? We have 47. 44, so we got about the same. Um, so it only takes two. I don't know how many we get. Let's let's make five. How many, how many coils are we gonna get? You think you could get like twenty, but <laughs> and we're gonna get one. Oof. Makes your rings real expensive. So we'll make five coal, or five coal. Make five copper and five iron um, coils. Wait, I have ten coils. Hold on. Oh, four right here. That was good. Chunks of coal. Eh. Did I just fail that? Wow. Oh, I didn't fail it. I forgot to take it. Eh. So you forgot looking. All right. Let's make some iron. Let's make five of those or six of those. Again, the real purpose of my creating these things is not to use them or to sell them per se. It's so that I can enchant and master work on them. Um, so I, my whole intent here is I'm going to lose these things. Um, of course, the one more efficient way is you can enchant anything not anything but you can enchant uh, equipment that you get from enemies as long as it has above 40 durability and has value so I mean I find them all the time where you get like a, you know this item has 76 durability or 80 durability you can enchant that stuff so that's probably the, the better way to go when enchanting and masterworking but uh, The way I see it, if I do succeed enough on these things, I will sell them. So, I, you can't really, I don't want to sell some rusty sword to someone. Kind of thing. So, um, I need to go get coal. Going out there real quick. So, what do we got here? So, six types of wires, 30 bindings, um, 
We made the swords already. Probably make some more swords. Chunks of coal. I want to buy a hundred at a time. No reason to buy more. Alright. Let's go back. Again, I could have used those those tables there, but the plus five over here. In the long run, that plus five probably only gives me at most like 0.5% chance better exceptional exceptional chance or something. It's gonna be so minor. But oh well. If I don't use it, people will complain and I'll you know, I always think, well I could have done it over here and maybe I would have got success chance. But alright, so what should we build now? Oh, that's right. We're gonna build uh, some necklaces. Let's build. Oh, so we can we can get plus one on these. So we're gonna build them one at a time. We're just gonna build we're above all six. So let's keep it lucky. Nope. Okay. So we can take. Yeah. Well, you can take and then click. Double click, or you can just double click. So craft again. Good. Success. Double click. Again, I will probably. Put gems in these. Um, ma I, you don't masterwork necklaces or or, uh, or you can't na masterwork necklaces or rings. But I will probably enchant them. Probably I'll try and get two in there and a um, a gem, and then I'll probably sell them. So well, there's a plus one, nice. Something like that I'll keep for myself. I think I have a bunch of these things already in my bank. I just haven't. Okay, there's some necklaces. Scroll down to rings. Um, there you go. Now it's even more expensive. Uh, five wire for one ring. Okay. Another one with the iron. Hopefully, they get a plus one here. Uh, plus one. One and four, right? Ah, you suck. Alright. What do we got here? So, we do have some bronze. We can make a bronze sword. Let's make a. Yeah, so, oh, scroll all the way up to bronze hilt. Alright. Let's craft that. Alright, actually, I just want to say a bronze. Let's make a two handed sword. Oh, I don't have my, my mold. Never mind, let's make regular. So, craft that. How much bronze am I have? I'm at three bronze, which isn't enough to make anything. Well, actually, it might be enough to make a dagger, but then who's going to use a dagger? I mean, obviously. We'll do it anyway, though. They really need to make things. Some of the weapons are a little more useful. Oh, I need an act dagger mold blade. Crap. Oh well. Alright. Iron copper is 32, so. So a copper hilt is 2, and a long sword is so 5 each. Um, what do I have? I have 30. So that means I could do. I could make. Uh, I could make 5. Or 6, I mean. And because these are. Um, just the component we can both make. And all the other crafting is, is just is exactly the same thing. Once you have the component, you know, you, you make the components and then you just assemble the item. And then hopefully you get a you know, if you're lucky you get an exceptional so overall crafting is pretty simple but it's the, the amount of resources it it takes from you know the gathering process through the refining process through the component process to the final product that really um, add the value. I think I'll be making a spreadsheet that way I can at least get a you know how much did it cost me to make this item as far as the resources are concerned and then um, the, the hard part is not finding that value the hard part is finding because um, even from from purposes even you know the the tool has a value right 
So if it has a hundred uses, you know that ha each what is each use value? What is the value of each use? So you you know you take a hundred. You know, divide that. Well, it's 100 uses, so cost 80. So, whatever the value for that is, I'm not gonna do any math right now. But so you gotta calculate the the cost of the tool into the into the mix. And of course, if you're using special tools um, that you bought or something, you really have to factor that in. If you're just using the free tool, then you're fine. But it's gonna be a really small amount. But the real, I guess, the real value problem is figuring out how much does enchanting cost. You know, how much is how much is the enchant cost? How much is the is the masterworking cost? You know, it's everything else. Like I said, everything else, whether it's a gem, whether it's coal, you, you have a value there, and that's easy to determine. All right. Luckily, even though I failed, you get the materials back. I just lost the coal and some durability of the gold. I think. So yeah, how you know? And then of course, a first level enchant has less value than a fourth level enchant. You know, obviously because the percent of success at a fourth level is really low compared to percent of the first level so then you got to calculate you know you got to you finding those values to, to sell your weapons at the right price that's really what it comes down to you don't want to overvalue you don't want to undervalue um, inevitably people are always going to undervalue it happens all the time you see it, you see it all the time you go to a, one merchant he's selling thirty thousand for you know plus plus you know We'll just say plus eight longsword, and the other guy's selling it for five k down the street. You know, you know who's undervalued. Technically, obviously, the the you know the the one selling for five k is undervaluing his stuff. Now, is he doing it because he doesn't care? Is he doing it because that's what he thinks it's worth? You know, that's really what it comes down to. Yeah, you know, but that's the nature of of especially this style of economy where there's you know a public vendor and then you have private vendors definitely have to shop around when you're going to the private vendors. Again, I, w I wish people had more of a standard. But inevitably, there's always those people who don't care no matter what you do. And they're just going to sell it for the for some price that makes no sense. Not only that, but they'll undercut you like even at a public vendor. It's like the going rate's 10000 and they'll, they won't put it for you know 9000 Nine hundred, they'll go. I'm gonna put it for five thousand. It's like what, you know? It's not... But that's a story for another time. We'll get into that. <laughs> that's a whole other video. But all right, so we're almost done crafting our components here. Sheets, and this is just blacksmithing. Imagine I was making bows. Armor is even worse. Um, imagine I was making bows and arrows. Well, arrows aren't too bad, but yeah. All right. But this this is the basic you know the basic principles right here between the refining and the crafting process it's pretty simple uh, it just costs a little money to kind of get into because you gotta buy the molds and the recipes um, but again it's not too terrible anyone can make their own stuff you know once you look at it oops you want to make it one at a time and again make your own stuff if you can you know especially if you're interested at all if you're not interested at all you know then who cares but if you if you are you, know, you, you want to do it? Just start doing it. You know, don't don't wait. Plus one, nice. Last big seventy. Cool. Should I make sure I have my other skills going? Okay, I do. I only have master working eighteen. I can't even get to these specialized ones. Oh. I can't wait till I get down here. I gotta figure out which ones I wanna really specialize in. I guess I could do them all. Depends on how much how, how the experience works with crafting. Another plus one, nice. Alright, what are we doing? So the copper stuff is done. Right, now we're going on to the iron. See all the items we've made so far. I didn't even notice I got those plus one swords. Did I just fail? Huh. That I made those plus ones in those first two. Got the bra 
bronze sword. As you can see, pure bronze is a crit damage, crit chance. Uh, copper is pure crit chance. Iron is pure damage. Um, yeah. So again, you know, look, look, look up the bonuses, then determine, you know, what are you going for? Do you want more damage? Do you want more crit? Do you want more damage resistance? Do you want spell, you know, damage or spell, spell crit or whatever? You know, look at the materials that makes up the items. Um, it can be hard to find. There's there's a few sites that have modern or updated information. There's a few sites that have old information. But it, you have to definitely look it up. Uh, my guild website has it. Um, so I'll probably put it in the video. I'm not sure if, if you have to register for the site to use our Strat of the Avatar section. But um, I'll put it in the video anyway. But it is definitely something that uh... alright so we made everything definitely something that's uh... that helps out a lot alright I think I think I'll probably make a sheet here I brought the sheet mold anyway oh my tool's broken um, again the good thing is you don't have to if it's broken, as long as you have one, you don't have to go all the way to the guy. You can simply right click the equip tool. There you go. Now we can make a sheet. Um, armor is metal armor is extremely expensive to make. So like meteoric iron chest plate is like ten iron sheets or ten sh meteoric iron sheets. Each sheet is the you know, scroll down. Meteoric iron sheet. Look at that. Each sheet is three meteoric irons. Oh, they lowered it, I think. I thought that was more than that. Maybe they did. Either way, it's still 10 sheets. So that's still 30 meteoric irons, which is, you know, uh, 60 regular iron ingots. So look at the different, you know, 60 iron ingots for, for a chess piece, right? versus the regular iron uh, that's only going to be um, actually how much is regular and that's just for regular plate so it's going to be 10 you know, times 3 so 30 so basically half the, the value if I did that right either way so we just created a bunch of stuff um, could make a few more things but I think we're good so the next step is to take these rings and necklaces and uh, swords and we're going to master work them and then enchant them um, the last step I will do um, if anything survives <laughs> uh, the the master and enchanting then I will um, socket them with gems so, all right and I will get into the process of that in the next video.